Looking from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Lay me down behind the moon, tell me you'll be on the soon. I don't wanna wait no more. Hello, and welcome back to another podcast with Tiffany and Jeff. Um, so it's it's a it's been a while. Yeah a really long while <laughs> um I don't know I guess we were just super busy with school and like we had different priorities yeah you know just YouTube wasn't really you know my first priority at the time yeah. um yeah just really busy but now we're back and that's all that really matters <laughs> <I hope. laughs> yeah okay. um yeah. So it's been a while. So I'm just going to reintroduce myself because maybe things have changed since the last year. Um, so now I am a rising junior, I guess. I, I don't, I wouldn't call myself a junior like yeah. just yet because the semester ended like a month ago. Um, so rising junior, I am majoring in computer science and potentially minoring in Chinese and international and global studies. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. I don't have anything else that's interesting about me. Um, okay, I guess it's my turn. My minor, well, my major and minor have changed since the last time we recorded. So it mm. used to be, yeah, it used to be planning and public policy, my major. And now it's just public policy. So yeah. very huge change there. Um, and then my, I also switched my minor from geography to cultural anthropology. So I'm um, super excited about that. What what exactly is cultural anthropology? That is a really great question to ask. Thank you for your You're question. <laughs> um, anthropology is like the study of, I don't know, people and like, I really hope no professor ever sees this video because they're going to be like, why are you in this major if you don't even know how to describe it? But anyway, yeah, it's study of, basically the study of people and then like cultural anthropology is like studying well and then it's in the name like cultures and like systems of power and beliefs and like how people interact with each other and things around them it's very broad so <laughs> that's why there's mm -hmm. a broad definition um but yeah I just I'm really interested in that yeah that's cool <laughs> yeah um I feel like like it's been so long and I don't know I feel somewhat like a different person but I also feel like the same but it's also so weird because we're reaching like the last two years of college college I know it feels really weird like I don't really want to be an upper class bit just because oh then I have God. to like, think about what comes after college I don't want to do that it feels weird like we're gonna see all the freshmen and I I still feel like a freshman I can't do this. I'm not gonna lie. I still feel like I'm like 17 years old. Oh, you're not 17. I haven't really processed anything after that. I feel like maybe <laughs> I didn't <laughs> sort that stuff out. <laughs> so we can catch up a bit, I guess. Uh, since it's been so long, I've been saying the same words over and over again. But we can catch up a bit, Amisha. What have you been up to lately? Um, another good question. I don't know, since break started, I haven't really done that much. Um, I got my license. Ooh. That's a big thing for me. Finally, okay. <laughs> like three years later. Um, but yeah, like right now, I don't really have any like academic or work things for the summer, like as of now. So yeah, I'm just chilling and like reading and stuff. What about you? Mm -hmm. I mean, nowadays, all I'm doing is work. So I have two jobs. I, I work at Kuma Learning Center virtually. And then I also have another virtual job, which is I'm a teacher's assistant for the intro class for computer science at Rutgers. So that's been OK so far. The students have been relatively nice, except I got, so I sent out like a feedback form to my students, and they were they were really pretty nice. And then I got one comment that was like, try answering questions in the breakout room. And I'm like, but I 
but I was answering questions. And then at the end of all the breakout, breakout rooms, I'm like, do you have any other questions I could answer for you? And they all said no. So I don't know who that person was, <laughs> but I feel attacked right now. Yeah, that's my life right now. Just feedback <laughs> forms and people. Teaching children. Teaching and children non-children. and non-children. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds, I would say fun, but I don't know. I'm sure it's not fun 100% of the time. I think it's nice like the feeling you get after teaching is like so nice because you feel like you accomplished something but for me I get super stressed out like right before recitation starts because it's like I have to teach like 30 people about something that I'm not super confident in (laughs) just and then my social anxiety on top of that just doesn't help at all yeah yeah it's not I really get that but I don't know it's a good thing that like at least you get something out of it like yeah that's really good how was a sophomore year because I I, we talked a bit over the year but what how do you feel about it sophomore year if I'm being totally honest I feel like after exams I just delete from memory you know not totally but like (laughs) you like cleared up your storage yeah um I think my sophomore year was actually pretty good, um, all things considering, like, you know, everything was virtual this year, like, the whole year, so that was pretty, like, I don't know, it was so different than my freshman year experience, Um, but classes-wise, like, I really enjoyed my classes, actually, like, I really liked learning, you know, the subjects, the subjects that I took, Um, and then, like, and I also changed my major over sophomore year, and I feel like much more confident with like my mm. academic path for now. So that's really nice. And then like, also not just classes, but um, you know, I'm in a cultural club, like I'm in Bengali Students Association, and that being online was super difficult too, because <laughs> we usually have events that are supposed to be in person, but it was, you know, it was hard to adjust. But like overall, I don't know, I think I had a okay year you know, considering everything. Do you think it was hard to, like, balance the club life and the academic life? Honestly, no. I'm only in one club right now, so, well, okay, I was the tech chair this past year, so I had to make, like, the flyers and stuff for our meetings and videos and things like that, but I still had help, and, like, it didn't take up all of my time, you know? Mm. Mm-hmm. I like was mostly just focused on school which I like school work which I usually am during the school year um it was hard to like not to like resist the urge to do nothing because <laughs> everything's online so it's like it feels optional right um well I don't know how many people relate to that maybe it's just <laughs> me I'm like an expert procrastinator so that was like really hard to go to like I don't know, get myself out of that, which I barely even did, honestly, but I survived and, you know. I feel that. I procrastinated so much. I, you know, it's just high school all over again. I just wait till last minute to do my assignments and it's really bad. Not good. Yeah, really not good at all. Not good at all. What about you? What was your, like, highlights, low points? lows last year yeah I think I don't know I I also joined or not joined because you were already in it before but I joined a cultural club uh Taiwanese American Student Association and um my experience in that is is I felt a bit overwhelmed but like in a good way you know like when it's like you see your calendars like all filled up and you're like oh I have things to do yeah that that, like feeling makes me like really happy inside but then also I'm like stressed out like 90% of the time as well um it's like there's like the idea of doing something is more appealing than actually (laughs) doing it's more appealing than actually doing it so it's like (laughs) yeah so like like it wasn't hard to balance it but it was just like I didn't notice that like oh okay this is like a serious time commitment that I actually didn't realize that I 
had to do because like to be fair high school I was always really part of one club and the time commitment for that club was so little <laughs> very little like I don't even know what we did in that club we just yeah. went there to hang out um <laughs> unfortunately that's true I mean the club to be fair we were like just made up of all of our friends so yeah. that's there, it. <laughs> there was like no one there um so like like being part of TASA itself is just like a lot to handle and I didn't realize how much like planning went into the events mm -hmm. like we would have like meetings or like we would like go an hour before the meetings the like uh general meetings begin and then we stay for like two hours afterwards just to like talk wow. about what happened and I'm like that's that's a lot uh, and they're like yeah usually it's longer like if we're in person like it goes till midnight or one and I'm like wait oh my God. Do, uh, you guys hear this or no okay um yeah but classes were fine I like forgot what classes I took already <laughs> I I don't even know what I learned in them but they were fine yeah we got through it that's all that matters we, we did we got through it I'm glad you made it out alive. Yeah, and then I'm going to suffer another semester a year. <laughs> but it's fine. It, it, it's fun suffering, I, I hope. Suffering is fun. <laughs> that should be the title of this. Oh, I remember you used to, do you still use Notion? Yeah, I do. I do. actually oh. just started, like, spring semester of oh. this past year. I made one for the spring semester and for, yeah, so I had, like, a spring semester page. And then I also had another table with all the assignments, but I put in more detail into that. Like I had the assignment name, the due date, the class, um, the type of assignment, and then whether it was completed and whether it was overdue. <laughs> and a lot of my assignments were overdue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, um, but I think it really was helpful to have that table, even though I also, like I always have a planner that I like a physical planner mm -hmm. um, where I just write down what I have to do that day and stuff like that. That with Notion was like the table especially was really helpful for me to like keep um, keep track of everything. I'm going to make one for next semester too. That's, I feel like great. that's impressive because you know how uh, <laughs> you made Notions for like your friends including me? Um, I mean I made three notions for yeah that's a lot of notions to make body. for other people um I I saw it and I was like this is very beautiful I love Amisha for doing this and then I started using it and then a week later it was really tough to keep up <laughs> <laughs> no it really is because I think I made you guys like I don't know I made you guys like a dashboard right yeah but like every class is like a different link and all the side, like everything was a different yeah. link. And I was like, this is complicated. But the thing is like, I, when I made mine, I made mine like that. And I was like, oh, I'm going to like make it so pretty and I'm going to use all of it. But I really only ended up using that table thing mostly. Um, so I think next semester we'll keep it simple. Yeah. Because it's like, like you look at the the intricacy of Notion and it's pretty and it's aesthetic but then the actual like functionality of it the is, upkeep is like yeah I have the amount of time you have to spend on that like Amisha you are amazing I can't do that <laughs> let's go to the next topic um yeah it's called concerns as commuters I'm concerned that's all I need to say yeah I'm also concerned end of topic both. right now so freshman year we both lived on campus mm -hmm. um it was really nice well and then, I think oh I see your yours is really nice yeah my dorm was really nice oh we talked about that before my dorm was really nice I feel like it was a good location I had a good mm -hmm. time what about you what was your experience like? I lived with the bugs it was great I <laughs> <loved> it. <laughs> the bugs and the perks of yeah. commuting is that you don't have to you live, live with the bugs at home well yeah yeah. exactly if your home has bugs then that sucks but yeah I don't know why we're talking about bugs so much it's not even I, you know they're <laughs> scary fellas um I really do hate bugs no offense to bugs but yeah. we 
lived at the dorms first year and then Panini happened. So we had to go home and we've been home ever since. I'm commuting because it's cheaper and like both of us, we don't live too far from the school. Like it's 20 to 30 to 40 minutes, depending on That's traffic. That's great. Nature. Yeah. <laughs> depends on a lot of things, like which campus you're going to, the traffic, the time, you know, like which route. Yeah. But yeah, in general, it's not like way too far. Mm-hmm. So I think we're both like kind of okay with the idea of commuting. The biggest benefit is definitely like saving money yeah. because tuition I mean even though we go to Rutgers and it's considered oh safe school it's one of the cheaper schools it's in state I still feel poor um it's a lot I'm of I'm in the negatives right now so I really would like to save some money by commuting instead because we don't have to pay for new plan we don't have to pay for dorm but I have heard from like my friend she lives very very close to Rutgers like probably 10 minutes away maybe even though she lives so close she said yeah it pretty much sucks I think the sucky thing about commuting and what I'm concerned about is just like the social life and then like being sleep deprived I have a lot of issues FOMO is another one of them (laughs) just like I fear that by living at home instead of living on campus with like friends like I'm not gonna be experiencing the same that they are or like I'm not going to be able to like go out and like have lunch because you know I have to bring my own lunch you know just like I don't like know. if they go to the dining hall we'll just stand awkwardly outside or like wash them through the window it'd be so unfortunate <laughs> at all just hey, like I'm gonna hold my umbrella it's raining and thundering and staring through the window when I see like, the, you know Bush dining hall they have the fireplace I'm just gonna oh, watch yeah. them sit near the fireplace all cozy oh really not creepy well the good thing about us both commuting is they can go have lunch and we can go have our own lunch in the rain exactly so who's the winner now <laughs> still not us <laughs> um our bank accounts are the real winners. Yes. Yes, I agree with that. Just not going to lie, like, housing is pretty much, like, I feel like almost the same amount as tuition. Honestly, like, yeah. Imagine going to school, but then paying double tuition because you're living on campus. Yeah, plus, like, meal plan, right? And then, like... Not even using yeah, all your swipes? Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm also, I guess I'm also kind of concerned about the FOMO thing (laughs) it definitely sucks to know that it's like not going to be the same level of interaction as it was like freshman year just because there's you have to drive there to get there (laughs) yeah I feel like I'm the type of person like the way my my roommate described it um was like I'm the type of person who easily like falls off like the earth um (laughs) like if if you can't reach me it's because like I either like just I just want to be by myself or like it's because I feel super left out I relate to that so much like like I'm pretty introverted honestly Mm -hmm. and like sometimes I love staying out with my friends but sometimes I'm just like I just want to chill by myself like I like doing that there's maybe that like I feel like if I'm not seeing my friends all the time I probably won't communicate with them not communicate but like I don't know like talk to them as much right but because you know like sometimes people have those conversations and then you're like I wasn't there for that yeah and then you're just like standing there awkwardly like "Mm." you have to be like filled in or like something yeah yeah but at the same time I feel like it's okay because I don't know I'm not gonna end my friendship like, yeah that's not gonna happen probably. I think it's just we all have separate lives but then we just we enjoy being together when we have the chance to I think that's yeah that's the thing when we have the chance so to be fair I am very concerned about my sleep schedule because I have my 9 a.m class three days a week uh so I'm gonna suffer a bit um I would assume when people make their schedules they take into consideration like their like 
the other obligations they have. So like if they have to work, if they have to commute, if you're living on campus, whatnot. Um, for me, I didn't really take my commuting uh, thing as a concern or, you know, I didn't take it into consideration. So when I made my uh, schedule, it just came out really bad. And um, the only section I could register for for Chinese was the one at 9 a.m. So I now have uh, 9 a.m. classes three days a week. And then on Thursdays, obviously I have club, so that's going to be super late. But I also have um, a class at night. So I'm going to be on campus many a times. And I also have work. So we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> How's your schedule? That is very hilarious and also very stressful. And I feel bad for you because mine <laughs> is the exact opposite. <laughs> so first of all, I'm taking five classes total. Two of them are completely asynchronous, which means that like they're just totally online and there are no meetings or anything. Two of them, I think, are online but synchronous so there's going to be like weekly meeting times like zoom or whatever and then there's only one class I have that is in person and that meets only yeah. once a week on oh. Thursdays however it is a three-hour class but I've also taken three-hour classes before so I'm um, whatever it's fine but yeah so basically I only have to go to campus for class once a week and it's not even in the morning it's like in the afternoon or something um, that and like depending on how clubs go next year if it turns out that it's in person then I will go Wednesday nights as well it all works out you yeah. are one very lucky person I wish I had your schedule because I wish you had my yeah. schedule too because I'm gonna be concerned for you <laughs> and I think it just so happens that like the one day where I don't have my Chinese class <laughs> is the day that you have your in-person class yeah like so like carpool isn't the most practical option it really us. isn't but yeah that's definitely a big concern you know I'm sure you'll be fine it's just you are probably gonna be tired and yeah you said sleep schedule right so sleep schedule. I mean I have to sleep right. early well I, I wish we could share our the suffering suffering yeah exactly I, I like <laughs> worried about okay there's a I don't know, there's a lot of things I'm worried about it's just this whole podcast is just me being I'm concerned I'm stressed <laughs> I'm worried. I think there's a trend going on I mean no that's is our topic so you're good you're good <laughs> okay cool great um because like I don't know exactly when traffic's gonna hit so yeah I might end up like going really early and then probably just doing work in the morning before I go to class at like a library someone asked me to drive them to their class in the morning and I was like oh my this God. is a give and take situation you make me breakfast and then I'll drive you so yeah maybe, you definitely need something in return some compensation yeah if that deal goes through if it's still ongoing I'm gonna get that breakfast hopefully <laughs> <laughs> otherwise I'm starving but hopefully I get that right. Okay, I'll, I'll make you, how about before you go, you stop by my place and I'll wait. You're going to be sleeping, my dude. Well, I'll just wake up to make a breakfast and then. And then go back to sleep. sleep. And I'll go back I'll to be sleep. like, bye. <laughs> just so this is to share the separate. I'll, oh, right, I'll right, right. Break. We wake up at the same time. We uh, <laughs> see each other in the morning. We <laughs> wave goodbye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, we're we're still concerned. I don't I'm know. still I don't concerned. Think talking it out really did anything. <laughs> we're still concerned. We're still, these are just we're just laying out our list of concerns during this episode. <clears throat> Hopefully, they'll be addressed during the semester, and <laughs> we can work around them. I mean, you can work around them. I basically thank you. I'm very privileged next semester. <laughs> um. Okay, well, yeah, that was our episode. This is yeah. a really good wrap up. I don't Sorry know. that like our whole episode might sound like a mess. It's been a really long time since we've recorded. Yeah. It's been a while since I've talked to Misha. Exactly how many days? Four days? Three? So, three? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't even know, but it's it's great to be back and it's great to be recording again, and yeah, and hopefully hope- seeing Anisha on a weekly basis. <laughs> 
<laughs> hopefully this episode helped somebody hopefully this episode makes people realize how much how concerned we are and if anyone who goes to Rutgers is listening to this um and you have questions or you have a topic you want us to discuss which I'm sure oh there's God. no one oh but yeah you could comment comment like subscribe Good. hopefully we have more content soon hopefully yeah. our podcast will be better yeah to be fair um, most of our other videos were also kind of messy too so this is not yeah. brand this is very on brand I'm sure yeah. the next one will be as much on brand as this, this is the one. longest conclusion I've been a part of <laughs> <laughs> okay well bye everybody <laughs> we're done <laughs> thank you for watching for listening bye